Yo, what is going on guys? Bobby here and today we are finally back with another video. So I'm back from Romania. I was obviously there playing at Worlds, my very first Worlds. And before we get into the video, um, I just wanted to talk about a couple things. First and foremost, I wanted to thank you guys, um, you know, just for always being there, always being supportive. Um, we were the second most popular team at Worlds. We were just short of being the most popular team, which is awesome considering we've never went, you know, considering, you know, we're not seen as this insanely crazy team, even though we are super, super good. We're not seen as this team that can just go out and is likely to win world. So the fact that, you know, we might've been an underdog yet, we still got a ton, a ton, a ton of support. It really goes a long way and it does start with you guys. So I just wanted to say thank you to you guys. You guys are absolutely awesome. Um, and that we are going to be back with the YouTube content. Now I know I say that a lot. Um, we have like two or three months now. Uh, where there's still going to be esports, there's still going to be tournaments, but the main Brawl Stars Championship, it's going to be on break for now. So I do want to focus on content. YouTube is something I obviously want to do, and it's something I've been wanting to do for a really long time now. I haven't found the greatest of success with YouTube. It's probably because of my lack of consistency, but hopefully throughout the next couple of months, we're going to go for some daily uploads for a while, and hopefully uh, we could start doing a little bit better on YouTube. But with that being said, what we have for you guys today is some duo showdown with Tensai. Now, Tensai is the captain of the world champion Zeta Division, or not Division, Division team. Those guys are absolutely insane. Um, I was, you know, kind of cool with Tensai before Worlds, but uh, I played with him a lot there. Uh, we made, sorry, Raz, I can't play right now. Uh, we made pretty good friends. You know, there is a language barrier. So for the interview, he's not going to be in the VC. You know, we, we tried it. It didn't really work out. So I just asked him questions. We're going to read you guys the answers. And there's going to be no face cam because I can't read and do face cam at the same time. It's a little bit tough. But we have a bunch of videos coming out. This is only the first one. We have a ton of great content. So that being said, let's hop into the duo showdown. Let's hop into the interview and let's get started. Okay, so apparently I have no option of no face cam. So I guess you guys are going to be lucky. I'm not going to be making the crazy eye contact. I'm going to be looking at my phone and reading a lot. Um, but we have 10 questions that we asked Tensai. We got 10 answers, you know, the best answers that Tensai could give. So without further ado, let's hop into the questions. So question number one, you know, some of them are pretty basic. Some of them are a little bit advanced. So question number one is how much Brawl Stars do you play a day? And, you know, this is, you know, the basic question that I feel like every pro player gets during an interview. For me, myself, I play around four to five hours a day, six hours a day, depending on if there's a tournament or something coming up. Tensai says he plays about three to five hours a day. Obviously, before BSC and during the BSC World Championships, he played a lot more. He was playing all day, every day. But on a normal day, you know, throughout the year, it's just about three to five hours. So not too much considering how cracked he is and how good his team is but three to five you know is definitely still a good amount question number two how did your team come together so this is actually a really good question because him and his team haven't been together for a super long time they've only been together for a year they were on a bunch of different teams i don't know exactly what what the team names were i'm pretty sure some of them were on jupiter some of them were on a team named b-boy um, I'm not sure what else, but he says that last year he fought against them in the Brawl Stars World Championships and he said they were really, really, really difficult to beat. And as a player, that's like the biggest compliment that you can kind of give another, another player is facing them and being like, dang, these guys are extremely difficult to beat. Um, so that's what he felt and he said, you know, after playing them so often and realizing how good they were, he wanted to team with them and this year he teamed with them and obviously you guys can see just how great this went. Also, my gameplay that you guys are going to be watching here, don't mind me because we're on the Asian server for every single game. So if my gameplay, you know, looks a little bit subpar to Tensai, which I mean, sometimes it does regardless, but this is not my fault. I'm on like 200 ping and this guy is cracked out of his mind on zero. So don't mind me not playing as good as Tensai in these games. Let's hop into the next one and let's get on to question number three. Okay, so question number three is kind of similar to question number one. Do you practice with your team a lot? Uh, he said they scrim at least three hours every single day before the competition. Um, he said they scrim about, you know, three to about three hours every day before the competition. Then once they got into Romania, they played a ton, a ton, a ton, a ton. They were scrimming all day. Um, he said they basically play all day before competition, but if it's not before competition, if, again, if it's just normal, it's about three hours a day. And that's honestly a lot of time to be playing with your team. 
their team is really, really good at working together. I don't think they play too much alone, just as solo on ladder or anything. I think they kind of, you know, practice a lot with Team Synergy, try and become really good together, try and become really cracked together, and that really showed during the World Championship. Three hours per day with your team is a lot. Don't get me wrong. I don't know many other teams that do that. And that is probably honestly why they are so cracked and so good playing together. Question number four is how do you dodge so well? Any tips? If any of you guys know Tensai, I'll put a little bit of a clip on the screen. This guy is an absolute demon with his left joystick. This guy is crazy. He is known to be one of the, if not the best dodgers in Brawl Stars. He's so good at juking. I said, you know, how do you do it? Like, how are you so good at this? And his answer was he anticipates every enemy attack. He looks at every brawler on the screen, not just what he thinks is going to shoot at him. And he's reacting to it. He's not predicting. He's not walking left or right in a pattern. He is fully predicting where are not predicting sorry reacting where the shots are going to go and he's just stepping to the side and stepping out of it and that's not, that's something that's very hard to do especially against brawlers like piper or you know fast shooting brawlers now piper you know sometimes it's hard to juke but against bell colt brawlers like that it's like impossible to hit this guy he's so good at it and uh he's just a ridiculous juker so that is the answer he asked for that question let's hop into the next game and keep going so going into question number five here when did you start playing brawl stars now this is obviously a very important question i feel like a lot of the really 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 good pro players came from beta they came right when the game uh came out in beta they started playing they've been playing for a long time they have a pretty big advantage over the rest of the players and i feel like when beta players become pro it's a lot about experience more than it is skill now it's not like that with tensai he's obviously very cracked skill wise um but it would have been cool if he was like a global player or anything his answer was 17 6 2017 three days after the beta was released so he played right when the game dropped basically three days later i started like two days after so we've started at a, you know a very similar time and then he also throws in that he had to deal with the og pink sakura spike og was definitely an absolute legend with the spike back in beta he was an absolute demon phenom like i don't even know what word to describe og with the spike back in beta he was an absolute goat and everyone played on one server so everyone was going up against the og spike and tensai has not forgotten about it clearly he gives props to the og spike and that kind of transitions into the next question the next question i said so at worlds who are some of the players that really stood out to you who do you think are some of the best players global who do you think are really really good he starts off he says bobby i don't know if he's just being nice to us since we're you know friends and i'm interviewing him but i'm going to take that as a compliment he goes bobby zulon lanane semantic jason who is on navi who came second but he also threw in and said everyone at Worlds was really, really good. And that's something I definitely agree with. Every single player at Worlds is cracked. Everyone, anyone could lose lane to. Anyone could lose any brawler to. They are so good at Worlds. I really can't describe how it was being there. Just a ton of good players all being in the same place. It was extremely difficult, but extremely fun. And I definitely agree with Tensai that everyone there was very cracked. And then going on to question number seven, what is your role on the team? Uh, you know, are you the leader? Do you talk the most? Are you the brains? He says he's the captain. He's also the coach. He's the brain. He's the leader. He's the one saying all the voice comms. This, apparently this guy's just the GOAT. He just does everything for the team and he's got some really good teammates. I don't want to take anything away from them, but Tensai is definitely the brains and the leader behind the operation. And it's very clear that, you know, that it's that way because this guy is just an absolute force. Let's hop into our last game. Three more questions. Let's get into it, show you guys what it is. So our final three questions. Question number eight, is this Brawl Stars your full-time job? Do you do school? He says Brawl Stars is his full-time. I mean, that makes sense considering again, how good he is. It's really hard to be one of the best players in the world and have some other commitment when you have other players who are also really good who are full-time it's just really hard to compete if you have school if you have another job and you can only play x amount of hours per day where you have other players you can play as much as they want it's just really hard to keep up so him being full-time does make a lot of sense question number nine is zeta going to stay with the same four players next year now that's kind of more, not really a personal question but that's a question you know most people would like to avoid asking you know since 10 size my homie you know i 
I was like, alright, you know what? I'm gonna just ask. I'm gonna YOLO. Also watch Tensai right here. Like, I know this is just Duo Showdown. I know this is just Ladder. Let me get a better angle on this. My bad for having a terrible angle. But this guy, he's just a force, man. This guy's just juking. He's doing his thing. He's being an absolute madman. So he says he can't answer that. Uh, he says he doesn't know if there's going to be the same four players. He's not sure at the moment. Um, if he didn't know, he wouldn't be able to answer it anyways because, you know, his team might not know. But as of right now, he can't answer that question. And then the final question is, what is your goal for 2022? And obviously you know the, the best answer you can give he says win worlds and i mean that's a pretty obvious answer but i mean you know what it's good enough um so thank you for tensai for doing the interview you know obviously we have very opposite time zones um so it was a little bit difficult but he stayed up late in japan time to be able to do this so thank you to tensai um and yeah that's really gonna be it so you know ggs to him again congrats to tensai and the rest of zeta for winning worlds and doing a great job um i'm gonna be back again probably tomorrow we're gonna get a bunch of videos started and hopefully you know we can start doing well on youtube and start pushing the youtube content because that's something i really want to do so that's gonna be it for me today hope you guys enjoyed the video and if you guys did like comment subscribe i will see you guys again hopefully tomorrow peace hey you yes you there watching this on your phone have you ever wanted to be the best the most handsome the most loved player on your team and support your favorite creator at the same time. Well I have good news. You can be all of that and more, by using code Bobby. But you have to do it now because this is a limited time offer. Use code Bobby at any Supercell Games store.